Hi guys, welcome back for another writing video. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Erica and I make a lot of writing videos. <laughs> so today's video is going to be all about generating story slash novel ideas or any idea in general when it comes to creative writing. So I'm actually going to try as hard as I can not to get sidetracked too much. So without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So basically, as the title suggests, it all starts with an idea. So I was actually going to turn this video into something where I explain my own stories and kind of like where I got the inspiration to write them. But I decided that that's not very beneficial. So instead, I'm just going to pull out the general, I guess, like way that I got that idea, if that makes any sense. But I will say that personally if you guys are wondering personally ideas just kind of come naturally to me I know that sounds really annoying and you hear that like all the time like oh ideas just come naturally but I also know that that's not always the case there are times where like I need to I, I mean I need to actually kind of like force myself to think about a plot and those times are usually if it's like a written assignment or like if I'm working towards a deadline then yeah I would have a hard time figuring stuff out but most of the case it's really just my own idea or like my just like own thinking process so like basically just take this with a grain of salt um everyone is different everyone has their own way and that's totally fine so actually, let's go over this scenario. Let's say that you are really in a dry spell and you're like me, where typically, you know, your ideas just pop in your head at the most random, inconvenient times where you're usually not near a pen or you don't have your phone on you. But that's usually how you are. But let's just say now you're going through a dry spell. You don't have any inspiration and you feel really bummed out that you don't have any inspiration for writing. Well, I will stop you right there. Before you let this writer's block get to you and just like make you crawl into your little cave, Hear me out. <laughs> so the first way that I deal with this and personally like my ultimate go-to, my ultimate favorite when I really don't have an idea is I just think about overall themes. And I, what I mean by themes is like themes in literature. What do I like to read personally? Choose a theme that you really, really like within literature and explore it. So once you have your general theme in mind, start asking yourself questions about it. So for example, if my theme that I wanted to explore was grief, I would ask, how would I feel if I if my best friend died? How or how would that feel to somebody if they lost somebody super close to them? Like if their grandmother died, how would they be able to operate normally in society or in life losing somebody that mattered so much to them? Or another one, let's say your theme is greed. What would a greedy person do with a million dollars? <laughs> like ask these types of questions they might sound a little silly but i promise you it all comes together because the second that you have an actual question about a theme is the second you could start finding problems within that question so like let's just say um the greed example let's just say you know this guy he's greedy he has a million dollars what would he do with it what if he has let's just say a sister who who pesters him to do something positive with that money who tells them, you know, you have everything in the world, you have a really good job, you have a nice house, you're not married, you don't have any kids, it's just you, so why don't you donate the money? Well, how would he react to that? And she, or that idea, would be your conflict. So essentially what I'm saying is, when you have a theme, you ask a question, and you find problems within that question. You find a problem that would either A, answer the question, but also be problematic, which would which is, you know, ideal, or, you know, B, challenge the question, which in my case, the sister would be the challenge. Because most of the time when we're writing stories, our problem is how do we get from point A to point Z? Now, this is true for, it's more true for novels, not so much short stories, because that's a lot of information to combat in a very, like, f finite setting, but generally we're asking how do we get from point A to point to point B, point C, whatever, in any story, any novel we're writing, and that's a way to start. You explore a theme, you ask a question, and you find problems within the question. And if you keep working it out that way, you can start basically outlining your novel. Another great way that I also live by, but not as much anymore, is definitely music. I find music to be very inspirational in a sense that it'll help you choose out themes, you can focus on lyrics, it's it's just full of opportunities that really help you get creative and also come up with great ideas. Personally, while I'm using music as a tool of reference to create an idea for a story, I typically 
focus my attention on the lyrics of this of the music instead of anything else I focus on the lyrics of the song I just find that doing that it really helps me I'm a very lyrical person in any case scenario whenever I listen to music I am just drawn to the actual words over the music itself like the sound or the music video or anything like that I'm really drawn to the words so let me give you an example <laughs> For example, I love hauls, you guys. I never mentioned that here, but this is the first video where I am actually telling you all that I absolutely love Halsey. I love her new album, Hopeless Fallen Kingdom is like amazing. But the song 100 Letters is on that album and that song really resonated with me. And it, <laughs> there are just, the song is basically just about a relationship that is not working out. It's basically like a narcissist empathic relationship where narcissists are taking advantage of the impact uh, is taking advantage of the empathic person and we just get to see what it's doing to that person how it's changing that person how this abuse is changing that person and there's just certain lyrics in that song that really inspired me and because I loved it so much I created Mia and Benji and I haven't talked about Mia and Benji yet but I will in an upcoming video because they are my babies they are still underdeveloped, they're not explored yet because they're still cooking up there so I'm not gonna touch it yet but my point stands. Music is a great way to combat these ideas and you don't have to be, you know, lyrical. You don't have to be. Like if you listen to music and the first thing you listen to isn't necessarily the meaning behind the lyrics but more like the sound then focus on the sound focus on how the sound makes you feel in that moment and if you like that feeling or you're interested in that feeling well that feeling is a theme and then you start following the pattern that I talked about same goes for music videos it's the same idea it's just up to you but I think music is a great reference so another thing that I think is really helpful is to just pay attention to social media Kind of see what is striking everyone's attention. Like, what is the hot topic in the news? Is it political? Is it some celebrity garbage or something? Is it about nature? Just really f focus on the news and see what's grasping people's attention. Try to find themes and what sets people off while they're on social media. You can get inspiration from how people are reacting to politics nowadays. You can get inspiration from our last, you know, presidential election that's prob that's a very hot topic that people are exploring right now there is a lot that we as a community as a generation as a tech savvy generation has to offer but it's all on the internet and it's all just within the means of research now I don't mean to go on Google and Google how to write a story which by the way I'm not knocking it's not a terrible idea but that's not what I'm saying talk about recent events elaborate on them and pick out things that you think are important and if they're interesting to you, select them as a theme and follow the pattern. Theme, question, complicate the question. As you guys can tell, I've been repeating that a lot throughout this video, the whole theme, question, complicate the question, because I honestly think that is a surefire way for me personally to develop these ideas, like these story ideas. It's worked every single time. Even when I have a thought in mind, even when something clicks, I still go through the process. Okay, I want to write a story about loss or about losing someone. How would that feel to lose them? What complications would make it worse? I don't know, like let's just say, for example, I, like I said, I want to explore grief. My character loses their father, right? A complication is that they already have a mental illness. They are already depressed. What does this do to their depression? You know what I mean? What is it? And then what were the circumstances of the father's death? You start exploring the questions and then you start building question upon question, which really helps you develop the story. But like I said, this is just my advice. If you guys have any other ways that you guys do the same thing or like explore new ideas, let me know in the comments below because I'm always, you know, interested in learning something new, maybe some new tricks. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I make a lot of these types of videos, so if you guys want to see any more, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment down below, like I said, letting me know what your tricks are in developing new ideas. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up. It virtually does nothing for me, but it would make me very happy. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.